the one tool you shouldn't be without when 3D printing. Stay tuned. everybody, Chris Sargent Taz here and today I'm going to go over something that all you guys need to get when you're 3D printing. It, it's a must. Um, I've been watching people do this a lot and it's like really simple. You need to have something like this. You really need to have a voltmeter if you're going to be messing with this stuff. Um, reason being is you want to be able to test voltage, obviously. Secondly, you need to check continuity. A lot of times your thermistor will pop you don't understand why you might have got crimped a wire this is the way to track it down no, you don't necessarily have to have the really big expensive one this one really isn't that expensive but this was like a $30 one but you can get a, like a cheapy $10 Harbor Freight one that at least does continuity and voltage so for example I've got a heater cartridge right it's not marked. I have no idea what it's supposed to be because there's no markings on it. Simple little thing to do. Put yourself on ohms and check it. Let's see if I get the display to work a little better. But it doesn't matter which side because it's you know a cartridge so it's not a big deal but you get it set up right and it'll tell you that's what it's omen out to so roughly if you do the math and I'm trying to do this in my head really quick bear with me I'm not really great at it but this is around a 60 watt cartridge so there's little charts online you can cheat with. I want to say right 9 and 10 is running a, a, a 30 watt. And then I want to say anything above that. Run, they run funky. Um, don't quote me on the numbers. This is off the top of my head. But that's how you know what you got. If you don't have one of these, you're guessing. Which we shouldn't do in 3D printing. We shouldn't guess. Because you're playing with stuff that's going to wind up short in your board. Or screwing up um, anyway same thing with a thermistor if you, you don't know what if, if you're getting continuity or not there's a continuity check and right, I'm not really sure where it's at on here right off the top of my head but you turn it to continuity and then it'll give you a um, should give you a yeah I don't even hear it but when it's actually make like continuity tech So you put it to continuity, and then it'll actually make a beeping noise when it's got continuity, when it's connecting properly. So I don't know if you can hear that, but I'll show you it's getting continuity. And you can trace wires down this way too. So you can make sure they're connecting from point A to point B on a board through your wiring. So you can check each probe. So you go where it's starting at to make sure. Let's see if I can get this in frame. We go where it's starting at. And, you, and then trace the end. This is when power is off, by the way. Keep that in mind. But this is checking continuity to make sure the line isn't busted somewhere. You can check this way, and if there's a break, you're not going to get that tone. So then you know. So, important tools to have. Definitely a must-have if you're going to be messing around with these printers at, for any length of time, because something's going to break. Be it a MOSFET, a thermistor, heater cartridge it's gonna go and then you're gonna be stuck trying to figure out well what, what's wrong why isn't it working and this simple little tool can give you a lot of insight it also can shoot you can check your voltages make sure you get your proper voltage across your boards um, obviously you need to do that with power and you need to you need to be really careful when you're doing this with power on because you can short something out or even hurt yourself so be mindful when doing the voltage checks um, I like to ground my ground to something on the ground on the board with an alligator clip so I'm not 
jumping around with it and then use my positive to check what I want to check. Same thing with the stepper drivers, that kind of stuff. This is the guy that gets you there. Like I said, it doesn't have to be an expensive one. It can be really cheap, but get yourself a voltmeter and stop guessing at what's going on with your printer. Um, this is a quick little blip. Hopefully I'll have a few more videos out for you guys soon. I appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe below. Comments below if you want to see something particular with artillery, Ender 3 Pros. I have the Anycubic Castle Delta, which no one uses anymore, but a few out there have it. So if you get questions about that, let me know. Appreciate you guys watching. See ya!